What's good, superstars? Back with another VV video on superstar money. I got superstar Rob over here. I always point the wrong way. How's it going, Rob? It's going great. I, I am so excited to talk about this one. We're fresh off hearing the VV AMA, and I, and I can't wait to go through it, and we can talk about this and let everyone who missed it get a quick uh, summary of, of the most important details from our notes. Yeah, if you've been in the community, there's been a lot of chatter about a lot of things. And uh, actually, I, I feel like they touched on almost every point that has been going around in the YouTube circle or whatnot. Uh, obviously, we're going to get to MTL. Uh, we're going to get to uh, Mutable X. We're going to be talking about all the big ones that you guys want to know. But they also talked about like app progression and web-based platforms and stuff like that. So a lot of stuff to go over. So we're going to just get right into it. Rob took some notes as the AMA was going on. He's going to bring them up. We'll be chatting back and forth. And uh, hopefully you guys have some comments to uh, talk about for after the video is up and uh, we can keep it going. You know, you know, here we're back, uh, I think, day five in a row. So if you guys are liking it, please smash the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you just found us because we're getting it going. We're doing it for you guys. Keep the community going. VV strong. VV to the moon, you know. <laughs> All right. So get us started, Rob. So I'll just go to the same format that, that they did. So they started off with their app growth. It was ridiculous how much growth they had last year. So they actually said that they started December 24th, 2020. So yeah. they're just over 12 months now. And they basically grew this platform to 1.3 to 1.4 million users currently right now. And they're active monthly users. So they, wow. I think they defined it as like, if they open the app, then they're an active, they're an active user. So they're expecting like, they're like five years ahead. Like yeah, they did like crazy. projections and they thought that they were going to be here five years later. That's they crazy. did it in one year. People are picking it up. And I think the whole NFT boom is obviously helping uh, the situation, but uh, that's nuts that when I heard that, that they were four or five years ahead of where they thought they would be by now. Uh, that's nuts. And we're early guys. We're in early still. I mean, we're, he, he just said it December, 2020 is when they started this app. You're in the first year. Like you probably were in the first year if you're watching this video. How crazy he, is that? he mentioned that that they have twenty thousand new registrations like a day, like it's yeah. twenty thousand new people a day that are going to get involved. They're going to get on the drops, and they're going to want to buy whatever whatever's on the marketplace right now. More and more competition. That's all I hear. <laughs> yeah. So they talked about how they went to the Immutable X that they yeah. they they transferred over like three million NFT. Yeah, that was a few weeks ago. So they transferred over whatever already was on the blockchain, I guess, onto the Immutable X. And yeah. the big thing with that is that there's going to be no gas fees when you're transferring back and forth. Also, some brands can be transferred off of VV. And uh, they pretty much confirmed that today. And they also said that it wouldn't be every brand. So they, they did say that through their talks with some of these corporations that they were a little, they got a little bit of cold feet uh, when it came to transferring off the platform. But uh, they also said that they think once they see this thing in action and NFTs boom a little bit more, they feel like these brands will all come on board. So, so the rumors are that Disney and Marvel aren't going to be going off brand. But they didn't say that in the MA, but that's what everybody's thinking. Um, and based on the way he was talking about how long talks took with Disney uh, to get it onto the app, I feel like it's pretty sh pretty much it's Disney that doesn't yeah. want to do this right now. He, he talked about how these major corporations that are very traditional, they don't like to change too quickly. They want formality in every decision process. They want proof yeah. of concept. And he, he mentioned that in 2018 was actually the first time. And this is David Yu, the, yeah. uh, one of the CEOs, one of the founders. He, uh, he, 2018 was when he first started meeting with Disney and it took that long to finally get them on board. And they mentioned that once they brought Marvel, it was like a whole new ball game for them. Yeah. If you think about it though, it's pretty smart business moves. Like they're like, prove it to me before we do it. Like, okay, they could be first, but they don't have to, like they're huge Disney. They yeah. don't have to be first Yeah. because uh, they know wherever they go, they're going to take over. Um, so it makes sense, but uh, I think everything's going to work out and they're going to eventually adopt it, but they just need to see the proof in the pudding and that's yeah. it. Yeah, and uh, the, he continued talking about updates to the app. So, like, they were saying mm. that they're going to do a version 3 showroom where they're going to be adding more functionality that to it. That sounds sick. I think, let me tell I was telling Rob when it was on, I said, I think that those are going to be things like turning the lights off in the showroom and if the collectible has, like, lighting up, if it's, like, for example, like the Groot or something. The Uncommon Groot, slept on right now, slept on, because it has those lights, right? Yeah. Imagine you turn the lights off and you see those lights flickering. Or you get like a glow in the dark lab it or something like that. How sick yeah. would that be in your in your showroom? Those things instantly move. So like well, he called it group. out. He yeah. called the Groot out. He called <laughs> yeah. it out. He yeah, actually know, specific and, and no, there's no love right now for Groot. Yeah. So like um, after this video, I'm thinking of going pick one up just because like yeah. I don't know. <laughs> he brought he had he went out of his way to bring up the Groot. But yeah. that's a great idea that you had where they're gonna make it some kind of they've talked a lot about utility. 
They talked yeah. a lot about functionality in the showroom as well. Um, we already knew about the utility, but they seem from the AMA to really stress this, especially this in this year, bringing yeah. on more functionality to all the collectibles. Yeah, and I think there was two different streams of that that they mentioned. One one stream was like if you have a physical copy of the collectible or something related to your collectible, you can interact with it when you put your collectible in AR. So the example they gave was like if you had a collectible and then you put the other one on top of it in AR, it would do something. Or the real one would do something or the AR one would do something. I don't know how it would work, but that was yeah. one example. But then the other example was where he said something about you would be able to use the the collectible to get into something or to use it that way, like as a ticket yeah. or, or something like that. So that's that's pretty cool. That's yeah. that's that's next level. Yeah, they're they're gonna they're definitely gonna start uh, continue. Well, they're not gonna start. They've already done it. They're gonna continue all their licensing with with yeah. new companies. They talked about how they have all sorts of new brands, and every time they bring in a new brand, it continues to grow their user base. And they um, talk about utility. Yeah, it's like it's like when yeah. Disney came out with the golden moments, and they offered the three months free to Disney Plus if you got the drop. Yeah. Uh, same thing. I think the the James Bond early on before I was on the app, I think they gave them tickets. There was a, a drop. I think it was only seven tickets or something like that. And if you yeah. got it, you can bring like seven or ten people or something with you to the movie when it came out. So that was cool. yeah, they actually yeah. mentioned how like a lot of companies now, especially the big companies, they they now have dedicated full time staff to an NFT department. Yeah, it's a it's a key true. marketing thing for them that they're going to need. Uh, VV's obviously in that picture right mm -hmm. now. Um, so yeah, like they're they're definitely like all in right now with with some of the biggest names in the industry, and it's going to grow the app and. Like they talked about how right now yeah. every drop you have at least a hundred thousand people trying to get a drop. All right, so, so when you're not getting it, guys, don't don't freak out. You know, there's always that secondary market that you can get in and make some steals, some snipes. Watch the last video if you didn't see. I talked about how I sniped and what I did exactly to get a snipe off the market. But yeah, uh, you're competing with a lot more people every single day. Every single drop is more and more people. So you have to have a plan almost now, uh, as if you are not going to get the drop. How are you going to How are you going to do it? What are you going to do to to increase your portfolio? It, yeah, it's gonna get harder and harder to rely on drops. Yeah. And they they talked a lot about bots. They said that that yeah. it, it's easy to believe that there's a lot of bots, but they spend tens of thousands of dollars every drop on like bot prevention software. Yeah. There's always gonna be a few that get through, but they've actually shut down like two hundred and fifty thousand yeah. accounts, and and uh, like they are taking bots That's very a seriously. Lot of, yeah, two hundred and fifty thousand accounts shut down, and they only have what one point three, one point four active users. So like that's yeah. a big percentage. Uh, I guess so is, they're serious about it. They didn't mention if it was like hardware related, if they timed how fast you're clicking or if it was software related. Um, no. But uh, sounds like it's software or script related, something like that, uh, yeah. that they would be able to for sure know. But they also mentioned that some people are getting caught in the crosshairs. I don't know how, how you can get caught, caught called in the crosshairs. Called it false positives. Yeah, false he positives. called it a false positive. I don't know, how, yeah. I don't know how, how you can be a false positive. Uh, but uh, well, bots have been a problem and it's good. it's good to see that they're taking care of it. Well, this is this is the thing though. So they're now actually talking about changing the the drop system. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if it's going to happen this year. I don't really think they specifically gave a date, but they said it currently is. They said it's coming. I think I think it's yeah. Soon. I think it's, it's probably. Soon. I think it will probably be this year. In a couple well. months, I think it's a couple months. It's it's in. They said yeah. they said I think they said in a couple months or something like that. I don't remember the timeline. They said though that they were going to start it off with certain drops, see yeah. how it goes, and then they will bring it into larger scale. Uh, and that would be official. So basically, be like when you get a sneaker drop, you just sign up. They open it up for like whatever five ten minutes. You will sign up, and then uh, they pull your name out of a hat if you were signed up. And then that's your chance to win. So realistically, you're never gonna get one again once that happens, yeah. or it's gonna they, be very rare. They also uh, mentioned like like maybe ten minutes before the drop, it's gonna be just like you click a button and they put you in yeah. a queue. Yeah, and that's the same. Randomizes. Thing. So that's yeah, it's the I same meant, thing. Yeah, yeah. But like that, they specified like something like that. I guess that's what they're thinking. Yeah. Like you, would, you would go on the app ten minutes within ten minutes and yeah. and get in the queue. The I think thing the whole the big thing, the whole big thing with that is that they're trying to push this master collector program where you got to yeah. collect sets and uh, get extra entries. So it'll be more interactive with the app. It's smart for I guess uh, screen time if they if they measure that in terms of how well the app's doing because yeah. you're going to be on there trying to figure out how to get as many sets as you can and i don't know if it's going to be you have to hold the set for a certain amount of time or if you can just go pick up a set right before the drop and you get an extra entry they haven't come out with any of the details they said they're going to give us some more details but yeah the master uh, collector program like they, i don't know they how i feel about that. it i don't, know I don't like it the master. i don't like it i feel like i don't like it you do the master collector program you're instantly like 
forcing people to sell their expensive things unless they give you like a really good premium for holding those uh and then going to buy like the cheapest set so the cheapest sets are going to boom it, it, it doesn't make sense to me you got to have some well, kind of it, it's basically a buy to win and, and obviously yeah. like uh, like users like us and, and yeah. anyone who's currently in the space right now they have an advantage because they're in earlier but uh yeah, it's going to become a buy to win like it, the more gems you have they're going to favor you they literally said that yeah. they literally said that during their ama it's like if we see a user that has a lot of collectibles and a lot of gems yeah, we know they're happy. serious yeah, we're happy. we know we they're know invested they're involved. we want to give them the advantage right it doesn't make any sense though then you're just gonna have top heavy it doesn't make sense uh, yeah you're, you're skewing it you're skewing it to the the whales that are around right now the whales that already exist now with 10 tods are going to get every drop because they're going to have all these sets they can yeah. sell off the tods and buy every single set and then have thousands of entries and then you got joe blow who just found the app gets one entry <laughs> Yeah, that fair. <laughs> Don't yeah. you want to keep for retention? Doesn't make sense to me, but maybe they'll come out with something. There's no details, so we can't really yell at it yet until we know the other ways to get lottery tickets. I guess. Yeah, we'll we'll see. And then and then moving on from that, like they were talking about how they uh, the murmur corns, uh, they made oh, some yeah. jokes about oh, how yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, <laughs> people were yeah. on the wait list. I heard that. Yeah. yeah so they, they said someone emailed them on their VV email and asked if they can be on the wait list for the Mermicorno season two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was funny. But they, they specifically brought that up, though, when they were talking about how they want to merge kind of the augmented reality situation with the digital collectible mm. item and the physical. Right. They, yeah, that's when they exist. brought that up. These exist. Yeah. Yeah. That's how they brought it. So in. I'm wondering if they're linking the two and that that maybe the Murmur Cornels might be the first one. Pure speculation. But yeah. maybe they're going to use those that's guys true. to say if you buy the real one, you go AR, you get a utility or some special it'll light up or something like his main will light yeah. up or, or it'll spit bubbles out or something on, on your phone. Not yeah. on the, the real one, obviously. But maybe. Yeah. yeah, I guess it will all depend. I think the smaller brands will be the first ones to do these types of things because they're trying to get noticed. The yeah. recognition and then for their next drop they'll be like oh remember this one did this i feel like that's how it'll go yeah and then and then just adding to the growth uh they moved on I, they kind of jumped back and forth but they talked about how they've like grown on other social media platforms mm -hmm. youtube yeah. twitter uh, yeah, yeah they're booming we know that already we know yeah. that they're booming and then uh well yeah like i think at that point there like we were waiting we're saying what's going on like we we want to yeah, hear about texting. mpl where's so, the mpl where's the where's MPL? mpl rob wrote it 10 times in the group chat <laughs> so they, MPL, MPL. they uh they first talked about migrating omi into the app so they talked about with the whole immutable x and how they're going to be able to they have a whole process right now on their medium articles they're yeah. going to hold uh two more amas next week and they really want to try to lock down and explain to people the ways that they can bring their tokens from omi into the app and then i think um, it, i think it was for for um for bringing it onto the ether blockchain yeah onto the ether yeah, blockchain. the migration right. that's what they were right. talking about migration they're, but they also mentioned how you can get it into the gems if unless i understood it correctly I, but. I think i think he was talking about migrating it onto the ether yeah um, and he was saying do it before yeah. do so it there's before. no gas yeah, 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 exactly. Because then you'll have to migrate it later, and then you can't use the gems or something like that. I, I don't know. It was confusing. Yeah, I don't have any Omi. I got to get some, I think. But yeah, uh, I heard it's pretty tough to buy right now. I don't know. It's like a whole process, and I'd rather just buy collectibles. <laughs> yeah, no, me, yeah, me as well. So, and then they finally moved on to the MTL. So yeah. they basically said that one of the main objectives for them is to figure out how they're going to deal with the international audience. So it's not as easy for them to go to MTL because they have to go to every single country. And they need yeah. to get approvals. They need to get licenses. And yeah. it's been taking them. They've been working on it, they said, for already a couple years, or yeah. two to three years. Um, uh, and unfortunately, there's going to be some countries that have banned it. So yeah. I, I looked so into So not it. everybody's going to get it. Not everyone's going to get it. It's a lot of money laundering stuff that uh, is causing the hiccups, obviously. So I, I looked into it. Like, obviously, like US and Canada, they have formal process already in place right. and, and should other, be okay we should be okay because they have these processes in place to get your mtl um to become a money business like crypto yeah. exchanges have already done it um i'm thinking that maybe they were referring to like co uh, countries that have banned cryptocurrency for any kind yeah. of transaction so like russia um there's egypt uh, iran like uh, there's countries that are just completely China's against been back and forth on it haven't they i think yeah it's currently banned right now but, yeah, but... we'll see we'll see because that yeah. that'll be huge for the market. If China opens up, it'll be big time because they're really they 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 have a big market share with these collectibles, <laughs> yeah. especially like the Toki Dokis and stuff like that. Not even China, just like Japan, all of the Eastern countries there. Uh, yeah, they're big influence. So hopefully, 
uh, they can get into there. He, he also talked about how uh, they're going to be changing the languages on the app. I think that was one of the big things, how you can, oh, yeah. what, you can read it in a different language, only in English. So that's coming. But the MTL, the big thing, uh, the big thing that I didn't know was at the beginning of the app when it first opened was they had MTL. Like you actually could sell stuff for, yeah. for Omi, I think he said. Told me, told me. Yeah. yeah, which is which is MTL. And and I think even if they let you do that, we're in these places where you can't cash out for cash. It's better than nothing at this point. Um, but I, yeah. when I was listening to that, I, I was driving home and I was like, if this actually happens, would I even want to sell anything? And I was like, probably not. I'm probably going to keep all my money in the app anyways. But yeah. The big thing is, and I think the whole reason people in the community want to have the MTL is so they can go to their friends and be like, yo, check out this app. You can pull your money out whenever you want. Like yeah. right now, that's the tough part. That's the tough sale. And I, I think they realize that you, yeah. you can't spread it to this many people because you get hesitancy when it's like, oh, but I can't take my money out. And I also noticed that when he was talking about this, that he mentioned that I think it was David said originally after the OMI Thing where they had to pull back and scale back they say you know what let's just leave it where you can't pull your money back out ever and they, they changed their mind on that so yeah he was like oh it's just going to be collectibles and you play around with them blah 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 but then you realize the value that was in the app and it was kind of not fair to allow people who have these high valued items to not be able to take their money yeah. out and just have to keep it in yeah there. it's the number one criticism every time yeah. i tell somebody about vv they they, they say yeah. can i get my money out if I cannot, then why would I be interested? I'd prefer to go to a platform that allows me to be more fluid and more yeah. liquid. So this is this is important. I think it's going to definitely yeah. grow. V and it sounds like we're going to hear more and more about it in the next coming weeks. Yeah, I think he, I think he said in next in two weeks or something they're going to make a, a larger beta team. So yeah. they already they've already started with small beta teams that are right. testing testing the the utility of this, but uh, they're going to increase that size and then he said slow it's going to be a slow process he goes normally it takes years and years and uh they're they're way ahead of that um but it looks like it's coming it's in the process yeah i, I, I think, think so. the big brands helps them to get there because i think these big brands probably don't want their reputation ruined either right so yeah yeah so when it when they bring that in they seem very committed they've been talking about it for a long time they just gave a, a great update on it today so yeah. um like that's why I still believe that it's it's early until that happens. You know, yeah. growing at twenty thousand people a day, who knows? Without being able to cash you. out, guys. Without being able to take your money out, it's growing this fast. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. Right? I feel like yeah, sure. There's probably going to be a dip when you can take your money out, but and, and I agree that, with you. After that, it's gonna. <laughs> yeah, and I and I agree with you totally. Like, okay, there are going to be some countries that that may not be, they may not allow the fiat. But if you can get it into another cryptocurrency and then through the exchanges, get it out there and, you know, they got their yeah. VPNs or whatever to get around their systems, then yeah. that, that's we'll still a suitable solution. Exactly. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. It was uh, really informative. And I'm glad that they touched on a lot of the rumors. Uh, even if they didn't give us answers, uh, they gave us kind of some kind of timelines on some of them. I mean, you're not going to get everything at once. And uh, we got we got a big I feel like we got a lot of progress in this one. Uh, yeah. I haven't been to an AMA, to be honest with you. This is the first AMA that I listened to from these guys. I've watched some videos on other ones, but this is the first time that I've heard it directly from the CEOs or founders. And and it's exciting stuff, exciting stuff. I feel like I'm in early. I'm in a club. Yeah. No, that was a lot. We we, we covered a lot there. So that that's yeah. your synopsis that, that covers really what you need to know from that AMA. And I, I'm yeah. glad that we can bring it to you. And Yeah, if and, you didn't uh, check it out, this is a quick quicker one. Yeah. I mean, it was like almost two hours, the actual ama so it was so uh, long th this video i don't think is that long <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah if you wanted to hear what it was about there you go you got anything else are we good i think i think we're good i'm always looking forward to comments it helps generate new ideas yeah. for new videos and and if you can leave a comment for us and we'll look into it yeah comment subscribe like the video if you enjoyed that synopsis rob did a lot of note taking give him a thumbs up and uh we will see you in the next one i love you bye bye bye